Hello everyone, you were asking me to make some recipe with chestnuts, so I made it for you. Today, I'm gonna show you delicious fine dining chestnut soup with sweet potatoes, ginger yogurt, pears and shimiji mushrooms. So let's take a seat and get started. And let's start with preparing the stuff for the soup. I'm gonna peel and chop a few shallots. Then also chop a few sticks of celery. Roughly chop also my baked chestnuts, which I bought in the shop. And the last thing I will need is fresh thyme. And let's move to the stove. Start with vegetable oil, shallots and celery and give them a bit color. Then I put chestnuts and thyme in. Season it with salt and pepper. Roast it for a few more minutes. Cover it with water and cook everything until the wedge will be soft. In the meantime, I prepare my garnish. Yesterday, I already hanged the yogurt and I left it overnight inside the fridge. So now I will take it out, peel one piece of ginger and I will grate it in. Season it with salt and sugar and my yogurt will be ready for the plating. Next thing I will prepare are sweet potatoes. So I peel them and chop a few nice pieces for my garnish. The rest I will chop roughly and I will use it for potato and bacon chips. Full video recipe for these chips you can watch as the bonus on my Patreon page. Get the link in the description down below. At this time my vegetables are cooked so I put heavy cream in, bring it to boil again, move it inside the blender and blend it properly. Pass it through the chinois and chestnut soup is ready to go. Now it's time to cook my sweet potatoes for a few minutes. In the meantime, I will pick some shimiji mushrooms and let's give them color on the pan. I will season it with salt, pepper and fresh thyme and my garnish will be ready.
Last thing I will do is to slice few sticks of pear and I'm ready for the plating. And before we do the plating, I would like to speak about my personal coaching because I'm getting many questions and I see many misunderstandings there. So first of all, the coaching is not the same for everyone. We do always personal plans depending on the client's needs. So you learn what you want, not only what I want. But I always like to teach all the basics and techniques at the same time. So from creating your own dishes to preparing the ingredients, cooking them the right way, adjusting the taste, reheating and the plating. That's why the coaching is always long term. So at least two to three months, so I can give you real transformation, you as the chef, not just give you a few tips and tricks. But my goal is to teach you all the basics, so then you can develop your own style around and keep creating and cooking, finding dishes at home for rest of your life with knowledge what you do and why. The coaching is one-on-one -on -one with me, but that doesn't mean we're gonna just talk. You're always gonna get some recipes and exercises to make at home so you can get the feedback. Because this is one of the biggest problems of amateurs, they don't have enough proper feedback and because of that, they just stay average. So if you like the idea of working with me personally and finally move your cooking skills to the next level, you can apply on my website chefmy.com you can also watch there some testimonials of my clients so you can see how the coaching works for other people. And if you're going to be good fit, we will work together on your cooking dreams. If you have any questions, you can leave the comment. And now let's do the plating. I start with roasted sweet potatoes. Then coming yogurt with ginger. Roasted shimeji mushrooms. Few sticks of raw pears. My delicious potato and bacon chips. Few carrot tops. And let's finish it with amazing chestnut soup. I totally recommend you to try it for your Christmas dinner, you will love it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And if you would like to learn more about fine dining cooking, check out the links in the description down below. That's everything for today. Thank you for watching and I see you soon.